You don't fight for yourself You fight for the ones by your side And they do the same for you And to live you must be willing to die But we'll see you in the battle Can kill you at home Hello and welcome to the January edition of Crimea Torch Song, the video version. I'm Piers Ford and we've just been listening to Soldering On, which is the opening track of Mary Gaucher's new album, Rifles and Rosary Beads. Gaucher is one of America's most acclaimed contemporary singer-songwriters, whose work has drawn on her own deep well of experience, searing encapsulations of abandonment, addiction and recovery, often visceral in the impact of their clarity and honesty. On this album, she's taken those qualities quite literally out to the field, and collaborated with wounded and serving US veterans as part of the Songwriting with Soldiers program. The results are 11 electrifying tracks, each of which sheds unsparing light on what it's actually like to be a soldier, or, as in the war after the war, a soldier's partner. These are experiences that outsiders, uh, listeners in, onlookers, can hardly begin to understand, but the album's achievement is to harness emotional touch points that are universal and strike sparks of hope and really revelation in the darkest corners of the lyrics. The rawness is offset by the spare beauty of Gaucher's melodies, which switch effortlessly between the underlying aggression of guitar-driven marches and elegant ballads that provide balm for deep emotional scars. Never more so than on this track, It's Her Love, a testimony to the unconditional love of a soldier's wife. When the darkness draws near And I'm a shackle chained to my fear And the nightmares howl and moan She wakes me up, reminds me I'm home. Well, Joan Baez is a singer who needs no introduction, just one of the great recognizable voices, uh, transcending musical genres with a commitment and integrity rooted in her activism and lifelong campaigning for social justice. On the evidence of Whistle Down the Wind, which is her first studio album in a decade, that voice is still in great shape. It's touched these days at the edges with a slight huskiness that brings even more emotional depth to the songs. Her choices ring with resonance for our times and they pitch personal experience against a background of fractured politics. They include two songs by Tom Waits and Kathleen Brennan, the title track, of course, and Last Leaf, and Mary Chapin Carpenter's The Things We Are Made Of. The album has a rich, plangent sound and a natural, unforced grandness which befits an artist of Baez's stature. The effect is beautiful, as on this Tim Erickson lament, I wish the wars were all over, a song really for our times. And now from my parents I'll hasten away I'll rig myself out in a young man's array And every company that I pass 
pass by I last for my Billy Oh, where he does lie And I wish the wars were all over Well, Joan Baez says she's calling time on her touring days this year, so her UK concerts in March promise to be something very special. Now to another celebrated American singer-songwriter, Beth Nielsen Chapman, whose new album, Hearts of Glass, finds her contemplating the world from an intensely personal viewpoint. Conflict, affirmation, loss and revelation jostle for our attention in this beautifully produced collection of new and revisited songs. Nielsen reclaimed songs she originally wrote for greats like Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson, uh, and here she invests them with fresh energy and purpose. New numbers, including Epitaph for Love and You're Still My Valentine, blend perfectly with well-loved songs such as Dancer to the Drum and this fresh take on Child Again, the story of an elderly woman gradually slipping away and back into memory. She's wheeled into the hallway Till the sun moves down the floor Little squares of daylight Like a hundred times before She's taken to the garden For the later afternoon Just before her dinner they return her to her room And inside her mind She is running She is running in the summer wind Inside her mind She is running in the summer wind Like a child Beth Nielsen Chapman there, but now for a complete change of tone and material as we turn our attention from the great voices and songs of Americana to the classic songwriters of the 1960s. Now, covers albums aren't conceived for the delight of the critics, but I think there's always room for a well-polished piece of pop nostalgia. So welcome Mary Byrne, uh, an X Factor veteran from 2010, with an honest and respectful set of 1960s standards. Burns was one of the talent show's classic stories, the supermarket checkout assistant auditioning at the age of 50 and sailing through to the latter stages of the competition on a wave of public affection. Here she pays tribute to the great 60s singers with really pristine versions of their signature numbers, all impeccably arranged. So let's finish with a blast uh, of her pleasing take on Helen Shapiro's uh, You Don't Know. And I'll be back next month with another roundup of reviews. Whoa. might not care every time you pass me by oh you don't know 